Okay, so the very first plant I have is this Mother's Day plant that I got, I believe, over a year ago. And it has grown tremendously, as you can see. It looks like an ivy. It trickles down to the side. And as you can see, the stems point up and face the sun. This is a very leafy plant. It used to have a bunch of like pink and white flowers, but they, it doesn't anymore. But that's okay. I still love this plant because it's still beautiful, long, and flowy. So this is my Sandariana plant. The foliage on this plant is absolutely gorgeous, as you could see. I mean, there are a couple of yellow spots because it's been dry because of the heat of the summer, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the leaves look so fake, but they're so real. And I think this is a beautiful house plant. And the underneaths are also purple, as you could see. So just look how beautiful that is. But as these plants get bigger, it's better to like dust the leaves so that they could keep their natural shine. And if you look closely, there's some like new leaf growth, some like some like little leaf stems. But yeah, I really love this plant. It is so beautiful. This is my Galaxy False Aurelia. Aurelia, don't know if I said that right, but this plant is so pretty. My favorite feature about this plant is its stems, but the leaves are so pretty as well. They're like this dark green color. And this plant grows really big and tall. I think like six feet tall, I'm not sure. But if you look really closely, you could see that the stems are like black and white. You'll see it in a minute. But I just think it's so pretty because I love like a black and white theme. In fact, my room has like a black and white theme to it. But yeah, as you could see, it looks like that. And I just think like it looks so unique. Like I've never seen a plant like this before. And so I definitely, I just love this plant. It's so beautiful. This right here is my Red Hill plant. It is such a pretty house plant. If you look up close, the foliage on this plant always like look looks like it's wet when it's not. It actually kind of feels like slightly wet, but it's so pretty. And as you could see, I have like new growth going. You can see like little baby leaves in the center. And the underneath is purple as well, just like my other plant was. But this plant has grown so much, like it's starting to trail down the sides. So what I like to do is I like to get the little notch that's attached to the stem. And I like to put it into the soil so it could grow into like a new like plant. Like it grows its own roots. It's really cool. But I just leave it for now because I like the way it trails, but I just really love this plant. It's so pretty. Definitely needs a lot of water because it is a tropical plant. So, yeah, I love this little baby. So this is my Snow White Belgium waffle plant. When I first got it, it was actually called the purple waffle plant but i looked it up and that was the incorrect name this is actually the snow white because if you look at the foliage you see like little white on it which is really pretty this is what caught my eye and the underneath is also purple which is why i guess it would be mistaken for the purple belgium waffle plant but no this is like a like i don't know it's not it's not a hybrid but it's like i don't know just like a different like version of it but I think it's so pretty and the foliage like the plant looks like it's dead sometimes but it's not it also droops whenever you don't water it enough 
so this definitely needs to be watered a lot but it's so pretty and i just fell in love with this plant for some reason i just really love the little like white on the leaves it's i just love it so this plant is super interesting looking this is my polka dot plant as you can see it has pink foliage and it looks like polka dots and it looks really weird right now because i've been pruning it because i accidentally allowed it to grow too leggy which means like the stems grow too long it's actually supposed to be a bushy plant i'll actually insert a picture of what it's supposed to look like and what it used to look like but every week i've been pruning the stems just so it could grow bushier again so yeah it'll take a while but we're getting there but yeah i just think this plant is super cute So this one I believe is one of my cutest plants. This is the Bear's Paws Succulent. This succulent is absolutely adorable. I believe every plant keeper needs to have one. But if you look really closely, if my camera would focus, there's like new little baby paws growing. You could see one like right here. And then there's another one like right here at the end. It's so tiny right now but a couple of the leaves fell off and that is because it's such like a big leaf on such a small stem so it'll fall occasionally but that's okay because new ones will grow but the leaves are very soft and i just love the little claws and if they turn like a brownish reddish color it's because like it's getting a lot of sunlight so it's nothing to be worried about and some of these actually bloom flowers like orange bell shaped flowers but i never got that but that's okay because i still love how this plant looks and yeah i just think this plant is super duper cute This one right here was one of my first plants that started my plant collection. This is the little white Anne. It's a type of Fetonia. And I've got to say the foliage on this plant is so, so pretty. Like it's so white and veiny looking and I just absolutely love the look of it. That's why I chose it. Um, as you can see, there's like a little bit of yellowing and drying just because it's been in the sun and it's been a little bit dry, but it's okay because I keep it regularly watered because this is also the type of plant that like droops when it doesn't get watered as often. Like she is so dramatic, <laughs> but yeah, this is like a tropical plant. I forgot where it's from. I believe it's a Peruvian plant, which is awesome because I'm Peruvian, but you know, I just love how pretty this looks. And as you can see, there's like two little stems at the top with like little baby leaves. You'll, you'll see, yep, those two right there. I love those, those are so cute. Like this is the only plant that had that. So that's why I got it. But yeah, I love this plant. The very last plant I'll be showing y'all is the Florida Beauty. So this is also one of the first plants I got. I got this and the White Anne together, but as you can see, it's got like a similar fe feature to it. This is a tropical plant from Florida. And as you can see, I have like new leaf growth coming in. But as you can see, if you look closely, the leaves at the very bottom are more beige than the ones at top. And that's because the ones at the bottom don't receive as much sunlight. So that's why they turn like this beautiful beige color, which I actually really love. And so that's why I like, because like the top leaves get the most sunlight. So that's why I've been keeping this more like in the corner of my room with less sunlight, just so it could have better foliage. And also because it doesn't need to be like in direct sun. But yeah, having this cute little like pot that I got at the nursery a couple of weeks ago and it's been growing a lot. So yeah, I just absolutely love this plant.